Ah, good morning, Mackenzie. Morning. <laughs> Come on, Susan said that I'd possibly bump into you down here, but it's still a lovely surprise. Now, um, can I get you some breakfast? I make a mean Benedict. Uh, no thanks. Well, at least join me in a cup of coffee. Thank you, but I really should be going. Please, please indulge me. See, I, I came to Aaronsborough to support Carl and Susan and, and Jared. But you see, if I'm honest, I came for you as well. When Carl and Susan told me your story, oh, my heart broke for you. To lose somebody so special, so young. But you've got to hold on to your memories, Mackenzie. I often lose myself in my memories. <laughs> Last time when I was here, oh dear, I had visions of my late wife Madge, all up here, of course. I think about her wherever I am. But when I'm here, where I loved her, where I lost her, my memories are so vivid. I had such a short time with Hendrix. Um, I'm scared I'm going to forget him. Oh, dear girl. <laughs> I, I keep having this dream where I can see him, but I can't get to him. And I'm so scared. The pain dulls and it makes the memory sharper. And if I listen hard enough, I can always hear Madge. More often than not, giving me a stern talking to. <laughs> Why don't you try it? Now. Okay. Um... <laughs> He's telling me to stop being a wet cat and think about the good times. <laughs> yeah, not one to mince his words, eh? No. <laughs> Do you know what? I think he and Madge are going to get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I think he would have gotten on well with you too, Harold. Oh.